The opposition Democratic-controlled U.S. House of Representatives moved to impeach President Donald Trump Monday. Though he is in his final days in office, the House Democrats accuse him of inciting an insurrection after last week's storming of the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. Dozens of Trump supporters have been arrested after the attack. Five people died in the mayhem, including a police officer whose death is being investigated as a homicide. The House Majority Leader says the House could vote Wednesday on the impeachment resolution. The acting head of U.S. Homeland Security announced he is stepping down after last week's events at the Capitol. AP correspondent Mike Gracia reports. The British government launched an ambitious coronavirus vaccination plan on Monday. The goal is to have 15 million citizens inoculated by the middle of next month. In a statement, the health department said the plan is to have 2,700 vaccination sites around the country, with one located within 16 kilometers of every person in Britain by the end of January. Health officials say rural areas will be served by mobile vaccination units. The U.S. pharmaceutical company Pfizer and German partner BioNTech announced at a conference plans to boost production of its COVID-19 vaccine by 50 percent this year to meet global demand. The company said a new production site in Marburg, Germany, will be able to make as many as 750 million doses per year. That means a total of six facilities will be producing the vaccine, three in Germany and three operated by Pfizer in the U.S. China says a group of experts from the World Health Organization is due to arrive Thursday for an investigation into the origins of the coronavirus pandemic. A one-sentence announcement from the National Health Commission said the experts will meet with Chinese counterparts, for, but gave no other details. It wasn't immediately clear whether they will visit the central Chinese city of Wuhan, where the coronavirus was first detected in late 2019. However, at a news conference, WHO Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus says the investigation into the origins of the coronavirus will help scientists prepare for future pandemics. Negotiations for the visit have long been underway, and Ghebreyesus expressed disappointment last week over the delays for the visit. The U.S. National Park Service, operating out of Washington, D.C., announced it will close the Washington Monument from January 11th until after inauguration, the NPS citing threats of violence. It said in a statement that groups involved in the January 6th violence continue to threaten to disrupt the presidential inauguration. Video from the Capitol violence shows the rioters outnumbering Capitol police officers and in some cases attacking them. The police department has been strongly criticized in recent days for what appears to be a lack of preparedness for the protests that were highly publicized. Outgoing U.S. Capitol chief, police chief Stephen Sund told the Washington Post that security officials in the House of Representatives and the Senate denied his request to ask the National Guard to be ready to help ahead of the attack. U.S. First Lady Melania Trump broke her silence about the attack on Monday, saying she was disappointed and disheartened by the storming of the U.S. Capitol. She also said it was shameful that she was a subject of what she characterized as salacious gossip and personal attacks.